Hey roomies, welcome back to my channel. So as you guys can see from the title of today's video, I was getting a lot of questions as to how I stay motivated, uh, how do I keep going when it comes to my fitness journey. Um, I did recently start Pilates and I know some of you guys wanted me to do a video on that as well. So recently I had did a poll and I asked you guys which video you wanted first and majority of the votes went to this one. So here we are. So real quick though, before we get started, if you're new here, please make sure you go ahead, you hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell. That way you're notified when I do upload and also please give me a very big thumbs up. Okay. So, um, I pretty much wrote down some topics I wanted to discuss as far as how I personally stay motivated throughout my fitness journey so the first thing I want to start off with is think about why you started your fitness journey in the first place sometimes it is very hard to get in the mindset of working out because sometimes you just don't feel like it for whatever reason you're tired you're sore you just need a rest day whatever whatever the reason is you are going to have those days where you just don't want to do anything and trust and believe that's me literally almost every other day and I'm not being dramatic I feel like that all the time one of the main reasons why I keep going when it comes to my fitness journey when it comes to working out six times a week is I think about why I started this in the first place I I was not feeling my best when I was heavier. I was not the most confident. I was not the happiest. If you watched my weight loss journey video, then you should remember me saying that how I was feeling on the inside was starting to reflect on how I was looking on the outside. If you're not feeling happy with yourself, it's going to reflect, you know? So I went through a phase where I was just eating whatever, not working out. I was extremely weak just fatigued you know and with me starting my fitness journey and with me working out i felt a lot of changes within myself not just my weight not just with the way i look but just how i felt mentally and also how i felt physically i just feel better so when i think about why i started that is an indication to me that it's like okay i don't want to go back to feeling like that i want to make sure i keep going so that's the first thing the second thing is mental health self-care loving yourself how many of you guys deal with anxiety or depression or maybe you're put in high stressful situations maybe you have a high stress job maybe you're a single parent finances etc etc when it comes to working out and i know that this is going to sound cliche it literally helps you from a mental standpoint all of that anger all of that sadness that you have you put it into that routine and you work your ass off when you're done working out you feel drained not only because you had a hard workout but because you just let all of it go in that workout routine i realized that with me struggling with anxiety and depression instead of me sitting around twiddling on my phone instead of me eating my feelings away I'll get up and move. Even if you don't know which routine to start with, go outside, go for a walk. Something just as simple and then you can elevate it from there. I just realized that it was starting to help me mentally because things that I was worried about pre-workout, I was no longer stressed about after workout. I just felt better. I felt like a weight was lifted off my shoulders. I, it was such a big release, you know? Now, like I said, I was having a lot of issues with feeling insecure, having low confidence, etc., etc. Once you start working out, and once you start eating better as well eating better is like 70 percent of the work by the way looking better externally is always a plus right but you start to feel better internally working out having a routine and eating healthy is a self-care regimen if you really think about it you're taking care of your body and i'm a very big believer as to what you eat is who you are you guys know i'm spiritual to some extent i've always believe that what you put in your body what you feed your mind what you feed your body what you feed your soul is extremely important so if you're eating nothing but chips and brownies and you know drinking a uh, soda all day no water no vitamin supplements no healthy veggies or anything like that you feel like shit at the end of the day right it's important for you to make sure you're eating things that make you feel good make you feel good about yourself and it's all a part of just taking care of yourself showing that responsibility to your body your body deserves it your body deserves for you to care for it and that goes back to the mental standpoint 
standpoint because if you're not mentally okay you're gonna start to take it out on your body so you know starting a fitness journey and having a routine is just getting in the habit of learning how to put yourself first learning how to take care of yourself because if you're anything like me you worry about everybody else before you worry about yourself no Working out for me specifically is that one moment out of the day that I take to cater to myself and feel good about myself. You know, the days that I don't work out my rest days, I literally don't even know what to do with myself because I'm not working out. It's gotten to the point where it's just like, I need to work out to feel good. That That is my time of the day for me and do not disturb me during that time. You get where I'm coming from? And that all goes into loving yourself. You should want to take care of your body. You should want to feel your best. Fitness journey and working out is not only about looking good. It's not only about having a big butt and a small waist and looking appealing to others. It's more than that. It's so important for you to just take care of yourself. That is extremely important. That's why when it comes to losing weight, a lot of it is up here, you guys. It's a mental journey and then the physical changes comes afterwards, okay? The third topic I wanna talk about, the journey of discovering your body, what it likes and what it doesn't like. As you start your fitness journey, you're gonna start to see that your body responds to different things, different ways. That goes to the standpoint that what some people do may not work for you. I've gotten obsessed with just finding out how my body operates. Like I said, I just started Pilates. Pilates is a great way for you to become one with yourself, learn how to tone your body, the balance. Um, it's a very, I don't want to say a stressful workout because it's not it's just very it's intense because you are becoming one with your muscles if that makes any sense you ever hear a lot of these trainers say mind to muscle connection that's kind of what pilates is like and i feel like it's a lot more intense in that way versus when i was just lifting weights you know yes it's a toning workout etc but i feel like i wasn't really making that connection with my body pilates is teaching me that that mind to muscle connection is super important if I don't have a weight in my hand and I'm doing this, but I'm telling my brain that, yo, there's a five pound weight in your hand, I start to feel that tension. And I feel like my body is responding very well to Pilates, which is why I'm gonna give you guys a video. That's why I feel like it's super important to try different things, be open to different things, Obviously, everything's not going to work for you, but you're gonna start to see how your body responds to different things, even when it comes to foods, even when it comes to having a, a meal routine on a daily basis. I've honestly gotten to the point where I just really find it kind of cool how you could get your body to how you want it if you just listen to your body. So that's another thing that keeps me going because it's like, wow, I came so far and I learned so much about my body specifically that now it's like, I don't wanna stop. I wanna keep going because as you get older, knowing those things is gonna help you out when it comes to your health. Last but not least, becoming your own motivation, setting and achieving your goals. So while being on a fitness journey, you could tell yourself, I wanna lose 20 pounds by this and you're gonna work hard to achieve it, right? Let's say you do achieve it. It's like a reward, kind of. You just feel really, really, really good about yourself and it's like, wow, if I just focus and if I just keep that consistency going, it motivates you to prolong your journey. Once you set a goal for yourself and you decide to stick to that goal, you work towards that goal, you are now becoming your own motivation. Now, with me saying that, I do also wanna let you know that it is okay sometimes if you don't reach the goal that you specifically wanted to reach. It's very important for you to celebrate the small goals that you did reach thus far. As long as you're putting the work in and you have it in your mind that you can and you will get better, that's really all that matters because that mindset right there is better than the mindset that you used to have before you even started to work out. Does that make sense to you guys? Set a goal for yourself, but don't get too hung up on that goal. Realize that it's more so important that you're putting that work and you're putting the effort in because that's what's going to motivate you you to keep going because then when you do hit your goal or even if you're hitting small goals along the way it's just like wow like I'm actually doing it something that I didn't think that I was able to do before so in my personal opinion those are the key things that I feel like it takes for you to stay motivated throughout your fitness journey the one thing I do want to say also that I did not write down I just thought about it it's okay to be influenced by other people it's okay to be influenced by other body shapes and want to look like someone you know it's normal as a woman we all go through those moments but what i do want to let you know is to please not get hung up on that 
Genetics plays a big part in certain things. You are not the same exact person as someone that you may be looking up to. So be influenced by their effort to keep going, their effort to share their journey with others. Do not get too hung up on how someone looks and say, I wanna look exactly like that because that's not realistic. So I just wanna let you guys know that trust your own body, trust your own process, and just grow within that rather than getting hung up on someone that you may be influenced by. Like I said, it's okay to be influenced though. It's okay as long as you're not kind of worshiping them and you're stressing yourself out because that's exactly how you want to look and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera, okay, so take the time to get to know your body, take the time to get to learn your body. That way you're able to excel within your fitness journey. And you know, if you wanna try new things along the way, then absolutely do it. But just make sure you're staying true to yourself the entire time, okay? So I hope I was able to help. <laughs> um, those are the pretty much main topics that I feel like is very encouraging when it comes to your fitness journey. Let me know in the comment section down below if you started, if this video inspired you to start. Make sure you check out my weight loss journey. Make sure you check out my most recent video when it comes to me, you know, killing myself with cardio all week because I had gained a little bit of weight. And also stay tuned for my Pilates video coming out very, very soon. I wanna let you guys know exactly how that's working out for me, okay? But as always, stay true to yourself, love yourself, make sure you put yourself first. Thank you guys so much for tuning into this video. Make sure you subscribe, like, and comment. I love you guys, and I will see you next time. Bye.